happened now is confusing. It is embarrassing, confounding. How will our neighbors see us? What will they say about us? I shudder. That is why we must get to the root of this matter. Yes. We must resolve this issue. If that is the only thing we do until our gray heads go to the grave. Elders, I salute you. Thank you. Uh, you have spoken well. And at the same time, set the ball rolling. I greet your courage. Our people say that he who brings ant infested fagots into his house should not complain when lizards begin to pay him a visit. Obviously, we have brought ant infested fagots into our house. And so we should not complain. Exactly. What I'm interested in now is, is the way forward. That's all. No, no, man, no, no, man. That is why our elders advise that one look for the black goat before the night falls. For when the night falls, the black goat is lost with the night. It is very obvious. We did not look for the black goat before the night fell on us. Uh, what options did you have? We all knew that our late Enugi had sons, a set of identical twins, but they were not living with us in the village. So when Odion presented himself as Odion, who are we to adopt him? Mm. Especially when the identical twin is not around. In truth, like Isibo just said, our custom recognizes the first son, the first twin, as the heir apparent. It surprises me that you doubt me at this point. Yes, we all doubt you. For we cannot make the mistake of crowning the wrong Enoge. For in so doing, we incur the wrath of the gods. Yes. We mean, cannot. Nice. When the word is they we talking about? Yes. Yes. We have to be very careful. Because any mistake we make now, we bring a great doom upon this land. And I will not be a party to such a calamity. Oh, Bahara. <laughs> Hmm. You see, I have always felt something was wrong. Ubedi, hmm. what is the name of our late Enoge's first son? Hmm? I mean, the first of the twin. Yeah. His name is Odion. I was there when they were named. And the second? Ah. <laughs> By our tradition, what do we name twins? Audio. I know of her. Elder Ima Fidon. You ask as if you are a newcomer, a stranger in our land. Omor Audio. Have you forgotten that when these children were born, I was not living in the village with you people. I was in the army serving the federal government of Zaria. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, that is true. I can understand with you. Now, who is Odion and who is Awoka? I am Odion. No, you're not. No, you're not. I am Odion, you bastard. I am Odion. Uh, it's for baby brother. That's your point. That's your point. It's all right. Elders of Adesado, I'm a Vueke or Nune. I will suggest that we all go home and sleep over this matter. I think so. Yes. Tomorrow, we will continue. Yes. Because I am convinced that any problem without a visible solution will certainly have an invisible solution. I agree with you. Eh? It's true. Uh, you say you are... I am Odium. And uh, I am Odium. No, you're not. Calm down. I said I'm Odium, you bastard. 
It's all right. For the purpose of the solution we are trying to find, eh, we will call you Oboka for now. Mm. Now that's not gonna happen. Come on, you know that it's not gonna happen. It's not happening. I know, you said that before. But for the purpose of the solution hey, hey. we are trying to find, uh, we will call you Obokan. It doesn't take anything from you. No, it doesn't take And uh, it's temporary. Hey. Mm. All right, you know what? I don't want to disrespect nobody in this room, okay? Fine, as long as this whole madness is sorted out, that's cool with me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my son. Thank you, my Thank you, my prince. Thank you. Elders of Addisan. The squirrel has run up an Iroko tree. Mm. <laughs> and the hunter's hunt has ended. I am going to my house for now. Hey, I'm on. Why are you behaving like a he good? Oh, who going here? If you a man. Come and stop me. Hey, you are not. Anime! Me! Are you too? Let him go! Are you too? Let him go! Is my queen still crying? Yes, Mama. And she has refused to be comforted. Mm, that's all right. You guys can go inside. Go and pull all these things down while I see Lenny My queen, why are you still crying? Why do you refuse to be consoled? I cannot be consoled, Grandma. Did you not see the humiliation and the shame that I went through today? I'm confused. There's no need to be confused. It's even good is happening now so that we can know who is who. So now who is who? Leave that to the elders and the gods of the land. They will sort it out. But for now, concentrate on yourself. You are still the queen. Am I? Of course. The people of uh, this are going to have chosen you to be their queen and the queen you will continue to be yes. to whoever becomes the inaugural yeah, okay. out of the I'm twins. That is not the point. Yeah. I don't want to be passed around by whoever becomes the noji. That's not the point. I want my own I love my own You are my queen and the queen will remain. The elders will sort everything out. Okay. Don't worry. Stop crying. Only say, Mom, go here. I'm on almost see. Go with me. <laughs> Say, yeah. My queen, are you still angry with me? I am not angry with you. It's good. Very good. You know, it's so beautiful in here, it's unbelievable. It's so serene. But everything peels in beauty before the one that stands before me. <laughs> Are you smiling, my lady? I see to try to put in some poetry in all of this. I love it when you smile, my lady. It brightens my whole world. I'd love to stand here and spend eternity with you. But I'm afraid I must run back to the palace. There's an urgent meeting to resolve this matter once and for all. I beg your permission to leave. You begging my permission to go for your meeting? <laughs> Incredible. There, you got my permission, my king. I'll be waiting for you. My queen. And isn't my king going to kiss me? Or are you ashamed to kiss me in front of your subjects, my king? That's my queen, pleases.
Obede, you know I was not living in this village. Eh, 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 Zaria, you were Zaria doing government work. And only go to the point. Ah, so, yeah. Arama, what's you know? You are lost, sister. Ah, ah. One minute. Uh, Obede, please tell us the story about these children. Elders, you all know that uh, our late Enoki schooled and worked in America before coming back here upon his father's death to sit on the throne. Uh, while there, he married a Yoruba woman who bore him a set of twins. And he brought them here before his father's death to introduce them to the palace. I was personally there. And as custom demanded, he named them Odion and Owokan. While he was still here, his father passed on. And he had to stay back to assume the throne. You all know that the queen of Adesagon must be a daughter of Adesagon. Consequently, we found him a wife from amongst our people who unfortunately gave him all girls. You all know the rest how the Yoruba woman got angry that another woman was sharing her husband with her. And he took the twin and went back to America. Where, where, where is she now? I don't know. Perhaps well, the children? I think I can fill y'all in, my elders. To start with, when our mother brought us back to America, she met and married this Yoruba doctor, you know. And then soon after that, they started having kids. And the men threw us out. Apparently, they didn't think we were family, you know what I'm saying? And then um, we lived and survived and became successful through the um, American support system. And after that, I heard they moved to another city, and then consequently, they came back to Africa and settled in um, Ondo State. A set of shop. Hmm? I think that's the last I heard about them. This is a difficult situation. Elders, what do we do now to untie the knot? My elders, this has absolutely no contest here. I am Odion. It's obvious. See this man right here? This man right here is an imposter. He's my baby brother. And I swear on this by the gods. Yeah, hey, baby. Elders, we really have a difficult situation here. Mm. And you that we call Oboka, what do you have to say? Well, um, my elders, My father, the late Onoki, once said that once a sheep lasts from one market day to another, it simply means it's becoming something else. If you're you know, no. And my father went ahead to say again that the handshake that exists beyond the elbow is an invitation for a wrestling bout. Exactly. He told me of the wise one, that Udazi, the Almighty, he said, Odazi Almighty is the one that gives power to the rainwater to break through the dry earth. I don't have a lot to say. I can only say for certain that the truth that I come to you with in the name of the Almighty Odazi is going to shine forth like the shine of the skin. Mm. My words are done. Mm. Oh, I talk, baby. I don't know.
you are the true son of your father. Yes. And you just spoke like him. Yes. <laughs> That's all right, my brother. That's okay. You are beating about the bush. What is your interest there? What is your interest there? It's okay. You are getting too sensitive oh, about the whole thing. Let me talk. Let me, let me talk. That's all right. Let me talk. Let me talk. That is what is it? It's okay. Elders, I went there a moon in Uchioma. It is the darkness that gives horns to a duck. We all know what we agreed on audio and Oboka. There has never been a problem without a solution. This is not new. Our elders had a similar problem in time past. And they were able to resolve it by staging a wrestling bout between the two brothers. Even, even. The one that won became the Enogie. Of course. Our Enogie must not be by selection. It must be by strength. And so, we will stage a wrestling bout between the two of you, and an Enogi will be chosen. Yes. Yes. Elders. Amen. Amen. Seven days from today, we will stage a wrestling bout between the two of you. Yes. So you have seven days to prepare. Elders, have I spoken your mind? You have. Okay. okay. Watch out. My queen. How did it go? You will not believe. The elders are staging a fight between my brother and I, and the winner takes the throne. I cannot believe that. Why would they make you such a cruel proposal? I hope you did not accept it. I had to, my queen. It's the only way I can prove I'm Odion. Why would you accept such a ridiculous offer? Why? Because of this ridiculous throne in this primitive place? It's not only about that. It's not about the throne alone. It's about everything. I need this above everything. Adion, let us run away. Yes, let's go away. Queen, you can't suggest things like that. I must stay and fight like a true man. What if you lose? I will not lose. I am Odion. And the throne of a disappointment belongs to me. Please don't cry. I beg you. I'm sorry if I upset you. But the truth is, I really do love you. And all I ask right now is your loyalty and trust. You sure you know what you're doing? I hope so too, my lady. All right, you got my trust. That's all I ever ask for. I must return to the palace after today. No. I have to go. I'll be right back. Trust me, I'll be right back. Okay? What do you want? You're going to kiss me? Do I always have to remind you to kiss me, Odion? When have you ever reminded me to kiss you apart from now? Odion, all the time. Like this morning on the stream, I had to remind you to kiss me. Although it was nice and sensuous and everything, I always wanted to come from your mind, Odion. Can you do that? This morning, that I, want you forgot to kiss you? Yeah, of course this morning. Why, don't you remember? At the stream. Oh, salo boy. What is wrong? Oh, you know what? What is it, Alma? 
Amandi, my prince, where is that imposter that calls himself my brother? My prince, the man is not at home. He's not at home? Yes. Amadi. My prince. On whose side are you? I'm on your side, my prince. So you're saying that you're a man? Are you? Yes, I am a man, as a man should be, my prince. Good. Then we must stop audio. We must stop over. He is trying to steal my birthright and consequently destroy the people of Addis Ababa. We cannot allow that happen. And he trusted and loyal men like you by my side at all times. My prince, you know I've never disappointed you before. You can count on me. So you're telling me, Amadi, that the heart of a lion beats inside you. That whatever I ask, you will do. My prince, my own job is to obey your orders and not to question them. If you ask me to kill, I, Amadi, I will do that immediately. Good. Amadi, my twin brother, Try to rape my queen today. What? All in good time, my buddy. All in good time. We shall deal with that imposter when the time is right. Remember, I always said something was unusual with that so-called audio. Yes, you did. But what I do not understand is this. If truly he is the first of the twin, why didn't he come home as soon as he heard of his father's death? Oh, Anyata see. What are you? That's true. Aloha! You don't have to be silent. You have to speak for yourself. Yes, yeah. of course. Uh, my elders. Well, I'm really sorry if it seemed that I'm quiet about this, but I'm a little overwhelmed right now. The truth is, when we receive news of our, our father's death. Hokan started acting really funny after that. I mean, he was finding faults with literally everything I was doing. You mean Ojo? I am Ojo! God damn it! You flesh and blood! Yeah! You don't have to do that. Uh, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Sit down, sit down ah. my son. You don't have to do that. It's okay, sit down. <laughs> Okay. Please, he has something to tell the others. Please, speak for yourself, my son. Elder, I'm sorry. I didn't mean any disrespect of any kind. This has been nothing it's been more than a nightmare. 
God is my flesh. It's my blood. When the arguments got constant, I couldn't understand it. And then one night we had a really, really bad argument. And I was looking like, I was looking at all kind of like a dream as he pulled out a gun. I could still remember the, the first shot. My own brother shot me in the chest and in the stomach. <laughs> I remember calling his name as I fell down. I remember him putting me in the bin. In the bin bag and then he took me downstairs and he put me in the trunk of his car. Then he drove me from Mount Vernon down to downtown Bronx and he dumped me on the sidewalk. There's a lady, a good Samaritan up in her apartment looking at all that and she called 911. Well, the police got me and they took me to the hospital and took the bullets out. I got back home and I started recuperating. And that was when it dawned on me what this whole thing was all about. He left for the village immediately after that. And then I realized he was really scheming to take my throne away. That's what this whole thing was about. But that's why I came back to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Awoka, you're being that good when Shut up! Shut up, your man! I don't believe what you are telling us! Cool, man. You don't believe me, my elder? You do not believe me? What is an approved for you? Yeah. Did I shoot myself? Did I? Oh, cool. Hey. Oh, cool. hey. Did I shoot it? Shoot myself? You mean that boy tried to kill you? He's a murderer. I told you people before. I said it. Well, I said something was wrong with that boy. Why didn't you tell this at the meeting in the palace? Why did you? <laughs> Why did you tell us? I couldn't have my help. Don't you see? You would have denied everything. It really don't matter what you call me now. I think that's the situation here. You don't really understand what I'm here to do. None of y'all do. This is not about reclaiming what is rightful in mine. I am trying to tell my people that this is not the right leader for them. Of course. Elders. <laughs> if we knew all this, mm. then there would have been no need for any fight. Mm. We have a lawyer, can you? The elders cannot stop that fight. It has been decreed. But the elders can investigate these matters. Of course. Yes. If he is found to be a murderer, mm -hmm. whether he wins the fight or not, he cannot rule a desagno. That is our custom. Of he course. Can't know because his hand is sword. Yes. I am not saying it behind him. Did you not try to kiss the queen yesterday at the street? Well, 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 yes, I did. I don't know why this imposter is, is going all around the village telling people that I shot him. Me, audio, shoot him. If I shot him, he would be dead now. He probably shot himself to gain some sympathy and you guys are going along with him. How can a man shoot himself for no reason? I'm a... Why are you antagonizing me? What is your interest in all this? Hmm? Oh, I get it. Perhaps you're interested in the throne of Adesabo. Isn't that so? Hmm? Throne. What throne? Look, 
I antagonize you because you are fake. And please, with all respect, don't you dare refer to me again. Or I will show you that I have seen more days than you. Please. You call me fake? Fake. You call me fake? So who's real? This imposter that tried to rape my queen yesterday at the stream? What? 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 what do you mean? He tried to rape the queen? He's standing right here, my elder. I am not saying it behind him. Did you not try to kiss the queen yesterday at the stream? Well, well, well yes, I did. But shut up. Shut the hell up! What is he saying now? That my queen, my pride and joy, will kiss a mere stranger. Mm. The only reason she kissed you, you imposter, is because she thought you were me. Just like you're standing right there right now, pretending to be me. That is the person that wants to ascend the throne of this uh. And after you kissed her, what happened after that? He tried to rape her immediately, but for the gods. Uh. But I've been telling a different story today. Nothing like that happened, my elders. You know nothing like that happened. Oh, for real? I'm lying now. Great. Hello. Hello. Lots of my elders. Mm. My queen, this is the imposter that tried to kiss you, or rather kissed you yesterday at the stream. And all that while he was pretending to be me. That's him over there. What? How dare you? How dare you try to take advantage of me? Pretending to be him? You cheap imposter, how dare you? That's not all. Now tell the elders how this imposter here tried to rape you. No. Tell them! Eh. Uh, my queen. Did he try to rape you? Did he? Come on. Tell us. Did he? Yes, speak. Tell the elders. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Pahara. Yeah. Queen. <laughs> Excuse me, please. <laughs> sure, my queen. Sure. <laughs> I rest my kiss. I present your king and waiting my foot. Oh, I got my. Is that not your king? A common rapist. What rapist? What rapist? Why are you easily carried away? Is it not obvious that she was forced to lie? Rapist. You think I will stay here for this kind of pranks? Let's get out of this place. Odion, how dare you make me accuse your brother of doing something he didn't do? How dare you? Come on. I was merely trying to test your loyalty. What was I to do? It was either him or me. And by the way, I think you made an excellent choice. Odion. I am seeing a side of you I have never seen before. I just don't like it. Are you really, really sure you're the right Odeon? And then tell me seriously, Odeon. I mean, are you sure you're the elder of the two Odeons? How dare you, woman! You question who I am? Huh? Damn you, Odeon. Come back here. Come back here! Can you imagine when myself and Elma went to the stream? She said she would catch all the fish in the river that she's taking to America. 
Hey, you know, <laughs> imagine in here. America. Bring your son to this house. Good evening, my prince. Good evening, my prince. Good and, evening. Uh, hope everything is okay now. Yeah, 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 man. Yes, everything is going quite well. The gods are in my favor. Of course, it will go well. I am the rightful heir to the throne. Uh, Mama, I came to see my queen. She in the house? Hear me. I, I thought she's with you. Well, she was with me earlier in the day and then she had to leave shortly after that. Good evening, my prince. You're welcome. Good evening. I hope you people haven't quarreled again. Oh, Mama Gui, we did not quarrel. We merely had one of our lovers' disagreements. You know, your daughter, she's a little stubborn. She left after that. I only came to straighten things up. Is she home? She must be in her room then. Hey, Omadi, go and call her. Thank you. My prince, please sit down. Let me get to something. No, 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 no. Please, please, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Set the record straight and then go back. She's not in her room. Where could she be? Why here, guy? Yeah. Perhaps she's in uh, Madesoa's house. Hey, what Madi? Madesoa. Madesoa. Madesoa was here this morning, and uh, what will she be doing in her house again this evening? You know, they could be caught up in their girly gossips, and then time transpired, and nobody. Oh, good evening, my friend. Good evening, my friend. I dishonor this one. Hey, hey, no, hey, Elmo. Yes, Elmo. Actually, she's not here to say she's not in. No, she's not home yet. Come. Or could she be at the stream? Why stream me? At this time of the day, what could she be doing there? What can I go by? It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Let's don't get ahead of ourselves. There's no cause for worry yet. No one gets lost by asking questions. I'm adding. Your honest. To the stream. Proceed immediately. Find my queen and return with her. Yes, Your Highness. Hey. What is the meaning of all this yeah. now? What is it? I don't want anybody to get ahead of themselves here. Everything's probably in order. She's probably somewhere. We'll find her immediately. Please, my prince. Please, let's not think the worst. Everything is in order. Hey. Have a fine evening. Hey. Your Highness, she's not at the stream. What the hell is going on? Amadi. Your Highness. Get one of the palace guards. Tell them to proceed to the houses of Elder Isibo, Asia, and the Marodian. They are to meet me in the palace first thing tomorrow morning. Go. Yes, Your Highness. You. Your Highness. Assemble the warriors of Adesabo. I want them to meet me in the palace first thing tomorrow morning. Go. Yes, Your Highness. Aoma, what is this thing I hear about the queen missing? <sighs> How many times am I going to tell you, dumbass, to quit calling me over her? Huh? And how in the world did you hear about it in the first place? I went to her mother's house. I spoke with her. Okay? Haven't you done enough? Huh? Were you trying to rape my queen and all that? Have you not done enough already? Huh? Come on. That's the whole point. I'm trying to find a lady 
So I can ask her how a nice decent girl like her can come out with a dirt bag like you to try and free me for what I didn't do. Yo, 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 nigga, let me explain the way it is. Well, here's what it is. Yo, it's mine. That means it's a no-go area for you, my nigga. Don't mess with her. You meet her with her, and I'ma take you out. The second time this down, you're gonna stay down. Oh, is that right? Just like you try to do back in the States. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, Dion. The point you don't get is that I'm the shit. I was the shit in America. I'm the shit up in here. You mess with my shit. Nigga, when I'm done with you, you ain't gonna be shit. Yeah, well, I cannot talk about that. But what it is, is there's a situation up in here. Like, how are you gonna get a pistol around this neighborhood? Haven't you looked around lately? There are nine ways to skin a cat. Don't be too short there. You know what I'm saying? Don't be too short there. Well, listen, little brother. Let me break it down this way. All right? Thing is, do not take my meekness for weakness. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you know, Negro, that I know what you know. But the only thing that stopped me from taking you out is the blood that we share, the bond that holds us for life. Do you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm not here to fight with nobody. We're gonna find the queen first. And after that, it's gonna be my pleasure when she sits by my right side on the throne. As long as this throne is concerned, the ship right here is mine. This throne represents power. And I am the power. The ultimate power. And I'm gonna go to any length to stop any motherfucker to stop me from getting the shit. Yeah, man, you know what? You always a good talker, little brother, right? Peace. Warriors of Adesabon, men of valor, I summoned you here today because I require a great task to be done by you. To start with, my queen, your queen, is missing. She has been missing since yesterday. We must comb the nook and cranny of this village until we find her. We will seek her out anywhere she is. 
We will go to the farms. We will go to every home in Atesagbo. We will turn the streams inside out if need be. And if necessary, I want you all to go to the neighboring villages and find her. And nothing, nothing will stop you until she's found. Are you all with me? Yes, Your Highness. My prince, my prince, my prince, my prince, Susan, Susan, we found Susan, we found, we found her. Adesua. Yes? You found my queen where? I found her headless body at the stream, slotted on the other stream. What? Are you shocked what you said, woman? <laughs> yes, I'm sure it was the same place she wore. That was what she was wearing yesterday. Oh. You found my queen on the stream. A headless body. Youths! There's trouble in the world So was that the last time you saw her? Well, unfortunately, yeah. She came out here to spend some time with me, and after that, she went back home, and that was the last time I saw her. Coming. Was there any misunderstanding between the two of you? No. Come on, man. I mean, she was betrothed to me. She was literally my wife. I mean, the man thought of us quarreling and my queen disappearing is reprehensible. Alright. But well, is there any other occurrence that can help us unravel this mystery? Well, no, not any that I can readily think of. But here, come to think about it, there is one. Someone attempted to rape my queen only recently. Rape attempt? Yeah. By who? By my brother. Over her. He tried, he attempted to rape her. She barely got away. And she came out here and presented the case before the Council of Elders and myself. And when we invited him over here, he confirmed it. I mean, Elder Moradin was there. Yes. He confirmed it right in front of him and the rest of the elders. In his presence? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Before the elders as well. Yes. I was there. Oh my god. That could be a positive motive for murder. So where's your brother now? Oh, that I don't know yet. It's probably somewhere in town up to no good. So what you need to do, officer, is to get your men over there and arrest that miscrant. We can't have people like that losing our society. Yeah, we'll get to work now. No, don't forget it's an American citizen. He can go back to America just like that. So we'll get to work him. immediately. All right. All right. Oh, boys. So was that the last time you saw her? Well, unfortunately, yeah. She came out here to spend some time with me, and after that, she 
we went back home and that was the last time I saw my family. Was there any misunderstanding between the two of you? No. Come on, man. I mean, she was betrothed to me. She was literally my wife. I mean, the mere thought of us quarreling and my queen disappearing is reprehensible. Alright. But well, is there any other occurrence that can help us unravel this mystery? Well, no, not any that I can readily think of. Well, here, come to think about it, there is one. Someone attempted to rape my queen only recently. Rape attempt? Yeah. By who? By my brother. Over her. He tried. He attempted to rape her. She barely got away. And she came out here and presented the case before the Council of Elders and myself. And when we invited him over here, he confirmed it. I mean, Elder Moradin was there. Yes. He confirmed it right in front of him and the rest of the elders. In his presence? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's right here. Yes. Before the elders as well. Yes. I was there. Oh my God. That could be a positive motive for murder. So where's your brother now? Oh, that I don't know yet. It's probably somewhere in town up to no good. So what you need to do, officer, is to get your men over there and arrest that miscreant. We can't have people like that losing our society. Yeah, we'll get to work now. No, don't forget it's an American citizen. He can go back to America just like that. So we'll we get to work him. immediately. All right. All right. Oh, boys, let's do it. Papa, my prince, I want you to go and see Asya. Tell him that I want to see him and the elders tonight at the palace at once. Yes, my prince. Amadi, come forward. You have been a loyal and faithful servant, Amadi. Thanks, my and I plan to reward you accordingly. However, I know you doubted me when I said that imposter brother of mine would never sit on the throne of our forefathers. Right? Yeah. But where is he now? Hmm? He sits behind bars. A common criminal. And we all know the penalty for murder, right? Like I said, I am most pleased at your service. Thank you, my prince. However, I am pained, Amadi. Because Ewo is not here to stand beside me as my queen. Adeswa, our friend, also came home from abroad. Yes, Amadi. I've not brought it to my attention just yet. It's good. We must proceed to Ewo's mother's um, compound. We must go and console Ewo's mom. Of what? Oh, so you are now doubting me. You don't no longer trust your mother. Hey, you. After all these years of my struggle. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Go back here. Go back here, pregnant woman.
Headers, the event of the last few days has left me speechless. It's obvious that the wrestling contest cannot hold. Because one of the twins is in jail. Then what do we do? Yeah! Oh no, it's a bugger and a Oh god, I don't here. The situation has sorted itself out, obviously. The audio in jail is held for murder. He cannot rule us. There's a stain on his character. <laughs> so, what do we do? Let us go ahead and crown the one we know, audio. Yes. Is the audio's character not saint? Didn't you try to kill his brother in America? That is mere allegation. Von Atana. It is their ways against each other. Moreover, we never witnessed it. Did you witness it? And even the one we witness. Are we willing to stand by the truth? What truth? What do you know? Witness what? Witness what? And who is the eldest? Is he the one in jail? Or not? Listen! Are we going to abandon the traditions of our land and follow strange ways? Are we? Certainly not. Exactly. If the one in jail is truly the eldest, are we going to crown another in his head? Are we? But, but, we know the consequences. If we do that, <laughs> he that must swallow an ocean seed must first consider the size of the anus. I agree with you truly. Because the consequences of crowning the wrong person will bring a great disaster on this dukedom. Elders. Let us allow wisdom to take its place in this. So, how do we not know the headers? <coughs> Tell us! It's because you do not want to know. Headers of Addis Abba. What is greater than the termite has entered into the termite hole. Exactly. With this, I take my... Sit down! Sit down! You think I don't know who you are referring to? You recalcitrant fellow. Me? Yes. Me? We no. Recalcitrant. Yes. <laughs> Sit down and explain yourself. Just like the bat, he said he knew it was ugly, and by that, he chose to fly by night. I insist. Eda Mafido, get back. Edas, please come back. Ah, you want to follow him too? You are a coward. Let him go. What do? Yeah! Let us go ahead! Let us say something good! From this morning. I told him all this way. I told him we have been expecting this baby today. He said he had to leave. Today of all days? Yes, so. Oh, no. Baby we have been expecting for how many years? 
That is not too good at all. Eh? Anyway, come and sit down. There are lots of things. Don't you understand what is going on? I've been set up in this country. I know nothing of what is going on in here. I'm innocent. But you are the only person with a motive to murder her. If truly you did not try to rape her and she accused you falsely, that is even a greater motive. Look, young man. You have to cooperate with us and we'll make things easy for you. We'll make what easy for me? The fact that I'm not guilty? All right, at least I have the privilege to exercise a fundamental right. I deserve a phone call. I want to make my phone call now. Uh, you have the number, yeah? Yeah, I have the number. That's the only number I have that will help me in Nigeria. All right, let me have the number. Zero, zero. All right. Mama Yobo. Mama Yobo. Iyi Yobo. Ah. My sister, good evening. Uh, uh, good evening, my sister. Mama sister. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. Hey, I hope no problem. Problems. Mm. Anyway, how is your grandson? Eh? Is that my grandson then? Can you just ask of <laughs> Hey. <laughs> my sister, you see that my grandson is just out of that. <laughs> hey. Every day that boy is growing. He's growing. He's growing. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't know what that boy is eating to know, my sister. <laughs> ah, ah. Mama, Sosa, your face is not looking bright. I hope no problem. A thousand and one. Mama, you Please, I need you to help me. Help? How? I beg you. You know my daughter, Isusa. Yes? She's been married for the past 12 years. And yet, no issue. Now, her husband is threatening to throw her out of the house. Oh. Please help me and wipe away this shame from me. <laughs> oh, Mama Isusa, how can you say such a thing now? Eh? Am I God that gives children? I'm not God. See. But I will assure you one thing. We will both pray to God. And I know he will answer. The way he answered my own daughter, he will answer your daughter. No, Mama Yobo. He Yobo, El. Ah. What I want you to do for me is to help me the way you helped your Your daughter, Yobo. Which way? <laughs> Come. What do you mean by the way I helped my daughter? You know what I mean. Look, let me tell you. See, not many people know what I know about your daughter in your book. And I don't think you want her husband to know too. I remember who now. Come, what did you want from me? Please, take me to that place. Which place? Ah, where you got a child for you. Hey, come, this woman. If they send you to me, look me. Tell them you didn't see me. In fact, no. Mama, you go, no. Please, please, I beg you, please. Help me, I'm begging you. Just take me to where you got a child for your boy and help me, please. Can you imagine? Hey, hey. What this guy small small wish? Walk out. No. No sense. Hmm. Why are we wasting all this time for? Huh? 
Why can I sit on that throne like I rightfully deserve? Till your position is out of the way, rotten in jail. What is stopping you? My prince, it is not as simple as that. The make it simple. The, the argument is this. Assuming you are not the firstborn, I, I mean, the rightful heir, the wrath of the gods will descend on us for desecrating our tradition. So this sample should go without a king. Is that what you're saying? My father, the late Enoge, is dead. So why are we wasting all this time? Why can't I sit on that throne and give him the kind of burial he deserves? Maybe we have to convince them. and other things. That will be difficult. Agama and Agbokbolo will never accept it. Agama is one individual. One individual will not override the collective. Falcon Bolo, he can be born. Yes. I know, I'm a good judge of men. I've bought many my day. I'm going to make enough funds available. I will give it to his Sibyl. Yes. By the way, where is he? Uh, it won't be long. As soon as he gets back, I want to see him in this palace immediately. Okay. I'll make enough funds ready for him. By who has to be back, bought and get anybody to agree to this. Do whatever it takes to get his race to the stupid elders to give me what I rightfully deserve. Wabo mm. wow. Hey you. Yes, sir. Sit down, my sister. You are breaking my luck. Anyway, I'm not staying long. Mm. I only came to find out what next to do. Mm. Has your daughter's type pretended to be pregnant? Yes. Uh, what about the vomiting, sleeping, yeah, sickness? Yeah. Has she started off? Not yet. These are the signs that people will see and believe that she's really pregnant. Mm. Vomiting, sleeping, constant sickness are all signs of pregnancy. Especially when the pregnancy is about between three to six months. She must pretend to be pregnant for people to see and believe it. Then you now take her away from her husband's house to live with you. Ah, uh -uh. away from her husband's house? Yes. Why will I do a thing like that? You are talking as if you don't know. Uh -uh, you know now. You tell them that uh, you want to take her to live with you. So that she will not be doing all those hard jobs in her husband's house. She might lose the pre You can convince these people now. Okay. Eh? Mm -hmm. By so doing, when she gets to your house, mm -hmm. teach her how to tie clothes around her stomach. Mm -hmm. eh? Then when the time reaches, I will take you to where she will deliver her baby. Oh, thank you very much, my sister. Anyway, but this period is so long. Are you sure I can't wait? You have to wait. Just go and do what I told you. The time will come. Alright. Thank you very much. Maybe day break. Okay. Yeah, hey, you're Mr. I'm Detective Charles. Oh, Mr. Charles. What do you do? I'm an agent with the SSSR. So how do you know this man? Uh it was when I went for intelligence training in criminology and detection that I met him. Uh I stayed in this apartment for nine months duration of my course. And not through my stay, he was really nice to me, so. So what's your assessment of this man as an intelligent officer? Well, sir, Arjun is a complete gentleman and law-abiding. Hmm. Your opinion, 
Can this man do more than? Sir, as a trained professional, I understand the intricate and complex unpredictability of human nature. But I can say categorically that it is impossible for Audion to willingly do murder. And if it happens advertently involving the Audion that I know, he'll go into mental stress disorders. This is my candid opinion, sir. Well, you're here as his friend and as an SSS personnel. So how do you help me in my investigation? You know, I'm also an officer and a gentleman. If you allow me, sir, I can help you unravel this misery and discreetly, of course. <sighs> okay. You may go on the ground and start work immediately. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. May I see him now? Oh, yeah. You yeah, understand. Let's go. Yeah, Sergeant Peters, I'll come to my office immediately. Sir. Yeah, um, take this man to the interrogation room and bring Mr. Audion to him. Yeah, you may go with him now. Thank you very much, sir. Excuse us. Yes, sir. I really feel bad seeing you in this mess. You see, you really gotta help me to help you. You see, Audio, any any clues, clues that can help me crack this case. Well, I, um, things are a little complicated at the moment, you know what I'm saying? I really don't have any clue as regards what is going on. The one thing for certain is that I'm being set up. I don't know who, but I know it's someone that's really, really powerful. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I don't have any clue regarding the, um, Queen's death. But I know something to, um, regarding my issue with um with um the elders, my brother and myself, I think the answer lies with my mother. So uh, where is your mother then? Oh dad, um we were in touch, you know, now and then by email, phone calls and all that. And then she got married to this guy um he's a Yoruba man. Um he's a doctor. They left the United States and came over to um to own the state and then he started a protest there and we lost touch ever since. Apparently the man doesn't believe we're family. He doesn't like my brother and I. Uh, Undo, Undo is a very large place, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. What, what's our husband's name? Um, what's his name? His name is um, um, Ayodele. Ah, uh, Doctor Ayo. Ayo Dele Odumosu. Doctor. Doctor Emmanuel. Ayo Dele Odumosu. Now, it's Ayo's pretty premium family, you know, like one of those top notch kind of people. So I know you can find him pretty easily. Yeah. I think, uh, I, think I have the primary information I need to work with. Look, mate, you gotta be strong, okay? I'll do everything possible to get out of this hole. Yeah, thanks. Listen, Charles, um, I'm really um, great that you came out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I dragged you into all of this. I know nobody around okay, here to okay, help okay, me. Don't brother, me. For you, I'll, I'll be there anytime, any day. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure I get out of this hole, okay? You gotta go to work. All right, man, you do. Yeah. Thanks a lot, bro. I won't forget this. You be strong, know man, be strong. Um, Agama! 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 Yeah. Agama! Mola! Wanda Shane, 
What happened? And I see one came to my house with a lot of money, asking me to support them. A crown of God. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> oh, Pahara. <laughs> oh. Agmola, do you now believe me? The owner of a thing will never bribe anybody to get what is rightly his. So, that throne does not belong to that boy. I said it. And that also means that mm -hmm, that boy is not audio. But Obuha. Yes. The whole thing is open now. Am I right, Benny? Now I hope I hope you collected the money. No, no, no. I didn't collect it. Why not? No, oh, it is bright. Ah, I'm Look. At, at times I, I wonder if you are truly my friend. What do you ever learn from me? Uh, people say that if my enemy disregards the hay on my head and bats me there, I, Adama, I will also disregard the physics in his nose and bat him there. Uh, you should collect the money and still do what is right. After all, the truth will come out someday. Now let us go to his boss house and collect the money. Come now here. Agama, what is this you asked me to do? Yes, I'm on the hall. Now, look, let me warn you. If you won't go and collect that money now, don't ever come to my house. Ah. Ah, ah. Look, if a man decides to be the lizard that spoils his own mother's funeral, what can I? What is my problem? I will help him and beat the bush pig that desecrates the mother's grave. Uh -uh. Eh? Thank you. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, baby, thank you. Eh? Baby, what's in Come on, yeah. They say there is a place in this village where they give babies to bury women. Huh? How? They said if after many years of marriage you don't have a baby, you just contact the woman and arrange with her. You pay some good amount of money and they give you a baby with a choice. You take your baby home and everybody rejoices for you. You live happily with your husband, case closed. But uh, how do they manufacture the babies? Where do they get them from? Hey, wonders shall never Tony, end. Baby meat is Hey, now. my sister, now wow. You get to the care ah, so. eh? Now wow, baby Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. Hi, handsome. Oh, that is very good. Yeah. Thank you. Bros, bros. Hey, I'm fine. I do. I bought it today. How are you? I'm okay. Please, can I take a stick from your secret? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you very much. I like it. Yeah. Thank you. Fine boy. How are you? I'm okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, come on, this table is dry. Uh, can I buy you some drinks? Sure, you can, please. It's all pleasure. Who's there? Bring our usual, I beg. Drinks, huh? Hurry, I beg, our usual. Thank you. Fine boy. Jane must stay there around. I do. No, I don't go far. That's good. Thank you. I'm so young lady. Uh, you see, young, uh, I'm really I'm really interested in that your chest. My chest? Yeah, I'm interested in your chest. I hear you're proving difficult. You're spoiling my business. Lady, I don't know what you want from me, but I beg of you, 
Please. Oh, get your hands on me. Just let me go, please. What have I done to you? What have you done? Don't you know what you've done? You've refused to make babies for me, young girl. Babies? And the baby from you will fetch so much money. I don't want to drink. I have to go and pray to my boys. Enjoy the sex. <sighs> and make me babies. You have refused to make babies for me, young girl. And the baby from you will fetch so much money. Is that baby? Yes, madam. Work on her. I'm afraid, mother, she can't take it. You want to starve yourself to death? You want to starve yourself to death? I'm not hungry. Well, for your information, you better cooperate with me because you won't leave this camp and you will not die until you've made me babies. Is that clear? Spot rats! Spot girl! My queen, why don't you just cooperate with us for your own good? I can't do this, please. I'm a married woman. Can't you guys understand? Let me go. Gotta let me go, please. Gotta let me go. Elders of Adesako. I've asked you here today to resolve this matter once and for all. I think it's come to that point where we stop treating this thing like we kick gloves. Why am I not sitting on that throne is what I don't understand. I've done everything you wanted me to do. You said there will be no coronation without a queen. I found the queen. Now she's dead. But you know what? I found another queen. I want what rightfully belongs to me. I want the throne of a decibel. That is why I summoned you here today to deliberate. Deliberate? Man, forget deliberation. I'm not asking you. It's my right. I'm telling you. Uh, it doesn't matter the way he presented his case. I think there is some sense in what he has just said. In my own opinion, uh, let us crown him. Just like that? My own concern mm. is that the Enogi, the late Enogi, has not been properly buried. That is why I am inclined to tow a more Dion's line. That we go ahead and crown him. Never. Not when I am still alive. Ayama. Be patient. I won't be patient. Don't tell me that. How can I be patient? When a father sends a child to steal, the child will kick down the front door. How can you people sit down here and be listening to this, this abomination? Shut up, Agama! Ah! Uh, look, you are not the only elder here. We are trying to reach a compromise. What compromise? What compromise? You don't know? Have we found out who is elder among the twin? Have you done that? So how can you reach a compromise that we will regret for the rest of our lives? Alama, co placed in a child's palm by his father does not burn him. Thank you. If we all collectively agree to crown Odion, we will also collectively intervene when there is trouble. That is a calculated miscarriage of justice no. it is not one can but run around the stem 
of a pepper tree, but you cannot climb it. My only concern is the spirit of our late Enoge has not rested. The ancestors have refused him because he has not been formally buried. That is my only problem. So now, what is your point? We do not know who is who between the two boys. Yes. We do not know. And the 1,001 gods that rule at this agon, no, we do not know. And so that is why you want to go ahead and do whatever you like and crown the wrong person as your enogi. All right, you are the odd one out. Uh, we shall go ahead and fix a date for the coronation. Thank you very much. I know that it will come to this point. I am not going to be a party to this. Yes. <laughs> and I know that you have all taken bribes. Say what you like. Yes. But let me remind you that he who eats the testicles of a ram is debtor to a lipothesis of the scrotum. I salute you. Agmopolo, let us go. My wife is barren and she cannot bear me children. No, my, my parents are making fun of her that she's a total waste. No, the pressure from my dad and from my mom on me is just too much. They are pressurizing me to take a second wife. I love my wife so much that I can't afford to take a second one. That's why I had to go through the pains of locating that woman so she can bring me to you because I was informed that you can help me. Does your wife know about your plans for her? Oh, come on. You're a woman. If you if you find yourself in my in my wife's condition, will you argue with your husband? No, 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 no. So uh, how much will it cost me then? It depends on the type of baby you want. Can you uh can you please explain that to me properly? You see, high class babies are usually more expensive than ordinary ones. I see. For instance. We have a girl here who was brought up abroad. Her level of intelligence is very high. Ooh. And you know, a baby from her would be different and that would cost you money. So, uh, how much will uh, a baby from this lady you said came from? Uh, abroad? Yes, from abroad cost me. Uh, 1.5 million Naira. 1.5 million what? Naira. But well, that's pretty expensive. Why are you screaming? You told me you have the money. We're talking about a child here, you know. Don't look at us as village women. We know what we are doing. We are big here, you know. Okay, uh, okay no problem about that. No problem about that. Uh, how soon can it be arranged for me to for me to sleep with this lady so the baby can look more like me? Uh, yes, but you know, that will cost you more money. Why are you so money conscious? What? See, I want you to understand that this is strictly business. I don't want this lady coming back in future to claim her baby if not I can have sex with any girl I like or even take a second wife which is what I'm avoiding. Mr. Jaja, save your breath. Usually when we are done with those girls, maybe after one or two kids, we discard them. Oh. You know what I mean. You discard them as in you? Mm -hmm. That is impressive. So you mean no trace? No trace. 
Uh, so, uh, uh, I think we have a deal. Yeah, we have a deal. Uh, how soon can it be arranged for me to sleep with this lady? If we have a deal, and you bring in the money, I will check her circle. Uh, when did she finish her period? Five days ago, my dad. Five days ago. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay. The earlier you bring the money, the better for you. Okay, no problem about that. You know, I'll uh, I'll send a five hundred thousand dollar cash through her to you tomorrow. This must be a very rich man. Oh come on, not really. Uh, <laughs> actually, I work in an oil company. I have this money, but no child to spend it on. You know. Don't worry. We will take care of that for you. Thank you very much. Very soon, you'll be a happy man. Hmm. So uh, tomorrow will be fine then. Is that right? I don't know, man. Can somebody please leave me out? No problem. You come. I brought you here. Sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, huh? Hmm. Tomorrow then. It's all right. This is another good one. Thank you so much, Mr. Charles. You're welcome. This is where you fall down. So, uh, officer, where are your boys? They're everywhere. They surrounded the building. Uh, well, well, that's that's very good. So, uh, you go in there and get all the captives, okay? All right. Boys, come in. Meanwhile, the, the supposed girl, she's in there. It's not true. Yeah, she's there as a hostage. Oh, my God. Uh, you, make this... sure she doesn't escape. All right, stop. This is all set up. Move on! Move it! Move it! Move it! Oh my god! Hurry up! Move it! Move, 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 move! Move, keep move it! Move, move it! Yeah, woman! Move it! Move, 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 move! Move it! It's okay, my friend. <laughs> wow. Grandma! 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 <laughs> you are <laughs> She's back. He <laughs> rescued me, this guy. Who oh, this police man? Yeah. Oh, that police. My police. I thank you for bringing my daughter back to me. May God bless you. Thank you. May God really bless you. It's a mystery, man. The length at which people go to make money. Money? My daughter, God forbid. Not my daughter. Ah! Not my daughter. God forbid. Oh. Ah, Where is my mom? Your mom left. It was unbearable for us all. Yes, She is alive. Listen, what really happened was as a sex worker and a sex marketer. She kidnaps women and sell them to the highest bidder for sex. Apparently, she killed someone else. Someone else. Listen, she killed someone else. Is this not their mother? She's the one. Oh, look her. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Do you know her? Where is your brother, Odio? I'm Odio. <laughs> Mom? Hold on, my son! Hold on! Hold on, my son! Hey. I miss you, my son! Hey. What is this you want to do to your brother? That you want to take what rightfully belongs to your brother? Hey! No. Hey! Oh, <coughs> <coughs>
Young man, I'm afraid I have to place you under arrest for impersonation. I'm finished. I'm finished. You have the right to remain silent. For anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. I'm sorry. He made me do it. He made me lie against you. And I'm so, so sorry. Really, I am. Well, um... It's all right. I know my brother, you know. I mean, there's no stopping him when he gets up to his heinous crimes. He shot me for Christ's sakes, come on. So what's new? I know he put you up all on this, all of that stuff he did. It's not your fault. But I've forgiven him anyways. I've forgiven you too. But I want you to know something. No matter what happens, from the crown of your head to the soul you walk on, I want you to know that you're every inch a queen. So, when you want to do this, if you have to, don't do it for me. Don't do it for Odia or, or for her or anybody, not even for your parents. I want you to do it for these wonderful people, you know? They chose you. They chose you to be their queen. I want you to be their queen. <laughs> oh dear. You know, you were not the no dear of a day ago. Are you implying that I be your queen? Is that what you're saying? Listen, I, I know this is not in accordance with customs or anything, but this is from a man, not in a no gear. This is a man that's in love with a woman. Will you be my wife? Will you be their queen? Are you serious? Gotta be serious if I'm kneeling out here in the dead of the night. Come on. Definitely, I want to be able to get out. <laughs> I'm hurting down there. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm going to be your queen. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you'll be my queen. <laughs> I want to be your queen. You want to be my queen? Definitely. Oh, my. I am your queen. I am the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? What are you on? What are you saying? Raymond? It's me. Happy birthday, my love. Raymond, what are you doing here? I came down to your house early morning because it's your birthday. It's a birthday all day, babe. Oh my god. Today's my birthday. Yes. Oh. What time is it? It's nine o'clock. Oh my god! Hey. Thank you, my love. Okay. Well, 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 I got something very special for you. Really? Yes. What is it? Yes. What is that? A flight tickets to Nigeria. We are going to Nigeria tomorrow after your birthday party today. You got me tickets to Nigeria? Yes, of course. Travel downtown, off the country, sightseeing and all that. For you. 
Yeah, I want to go. I want to go. Smell like it. Raymond, yes. you know, yes. I mean, every continent has its good, bad, and ugly sides, right? Yes. I mean, that happens in every continent, right? Of course. It's like it's no big deal, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I want to go. I definitely want to go. That's it. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank oh, you so oh much, God. Raymond. Okay. What about my mommy and my dad? Because, yeah. Did you tell them about this? They, yeah, I, I told them, I told them, I told them. They didn't know, they know about it. Yes. Yes, we know about it. Yes, oh my goodness. Yes, we do. Mommy, we are all part of it. Oh my goodness. Y'all know about this? Yes. I'm Happy going birthday. to Nigeria? Yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my God, Happy thank birthday. you so much, Mommy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much. I can go to Nigeria? Yeah, Daddy has given me this contest. <laughs> I'm going to Africa. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susie. Happy birthday to you. How old are you? No, mommy, come on. Everybody knows how old I am. Okay. I'm one year old. Oh, that's just two years old. Two years old. Whatever, mommy. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and make a wish. Oh, Alright. Let's make a wish. 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 E. Close it by the way. I. I. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Oh, I love you so much, Mommy. Thank you so much. Should give a bigger hug. No, I'm going to give you a pie. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Now, where's the Save the land That's what is rigid for the crown